Hi, I'm Tad Johnson, managing editor of This Week Newspapers. We're here at the 4-H Malt Stand, I guess you would call it. It's uh, drizzling a little bit, so we had uh, some pretty good timing coming in here. And uh, we're going to talk to some of the members of the uh, Lakeville 4-H Club. And uh, if you just tell me who you are and uh, maybe a program that you're involved in with 4-H. Sure. My, my name is Trevor Lachance, and um, this is my first year in 4-H, um, part of the 4 Evergreen 4-H uh, Club. And... Um, one of the programs that I'm involved in is vegetable gardening. It's one of the projects that I did for the fair this year, and um, I also did potatoes. And um, yeah, it's it's been a really great uh, experience. Did you have a pretty good harvest this year? Yes, it was it was great. Really, it was first. Oh, I don't know. Um, for potatoes, I got an award of excellence, but um, I don't. I can't go to the state fair this year. I, I'm not el eligible. But um, yeah, maybe next year. Right. I'll try. Yeah. Hi, I'm Allie Lachance. I am also part of the Forever Green Club, and I did a crafts this year, and I made an apron. So it How was. I got a blue, which is, I guess, the highest. So. Did it take you a long time to make it? It did. It took me a couple months okay. to do it. What kind of I use uh, yellow fabric because I want to make it bright and sunny, <laughs> exciting, happy. Cool. So. Now, have you ever done anything like that before? This is my first year with my brother, so... Okay, so that's the great thing. Uh, yeah! You get to try new things. Are exactly. you looking forward to doing something else? Or? Oh, yes. What, we're going to do, what? like... We're going to do some photography next year. Okay. We'll see if we can get some of that. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. I'm Rachel Tippett. I'm also with Forever Green, and I've been in 4-H about four years. So it's kind of, you know, a lot of the things aren't as new to me. But I did a lot of projects this year, including rabbits, and that was the big one. So I had my rabbits in the barn a few days ago, but they are home now, and I think they're happy about that. I also did a lot of craft projects like quilting, crocheting, and um, bobbin lace. Okay. Now, so how many rabbits do you have? I have two rabbits. Two rabbits, and what are their names? Their names are Einstein and Schrodinger. Now, how did they do in the uh, competition? They both got blues, which is pretty good. Um, the ribbon scoring, I guess you could call it, is you have blues and reds and whites. And blues is, you know, you did well, not exceptional, but really well. Red is, it needs some improvement, and white is, you know, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, kind of, what kind of categories do they judge a rabbit in? Uh, a rabbit is judged by its breed standard, so they look at the body type, its condition, its fur. Um, even the length of its ears gets judged. So. And how do you kind of uh, help the rabbit improve itself in those areas? Um, you mostly what you do is you make sure it gets the right amount of food, and you don't give it too many treats, and that helps it maintain the right weight and a good coat condition. Wow. Okay, that's very cool. All right. <laughs>